Hello there everybody. Today we are studying Sir Francis Beaufort and we're going to study this Irishman because he became very famous because he uh, created a scale um, that categorizes the winds uh, and wind speed into different categories and levels of intensity and uh, it was a very good scale that is still used and commonly used today for all seafarers and all people using the seas so that they know what sort of journey to expect on their way whether it's safe to be in the sea for example and so on so we're going to look at it now boys and girls and read a little bit about this gentleman and who he was so Sir Francis Beaufort, who was he? So Sir Francis Beaufort, boys and girls, was a man from born in Navan in County Meath in 1774. And from when he was a young boy, a small boy, he had a huge interest in maps and exploring. And he left school at 13 years of age. And after he left school, he started a life at sea. And why is he famous? Well, he's famous for being the creator of the Beaufort scale, as I said. And when Francis started his life at sea, he kept a weather diary. And it was during a trip in the sea surrounding South, Af South America that Sir Francis created a scale that measures wind speed. And what is the Beaufort scale? Well, the Beaufort scale is used to measure wind speed. Sir Francis Beaufort created it in, or in order to help ships during their sailing on the seas. And the Beaufort scale meant that sailors could more accurately plan their journeys and know what type of wind to expect during their journey. So the Beaufort scale ranges in levels from 0 to 12 to level 12. And at the lowest level, um, in level 0, it describes a calm day with wind speeds of less than 1 km per hour. And really that's when smoke just rising from a chimney in our house um, you know, the, it just rises straight up into the sky like a straight line with no disruption. Each level on the scale moves up in wind speed. Then we have the other end of the scale, which is level 12, isn't that right? Boys and girls, which is here, the level 12. And level 12 causes... Is, describes wind speeds greater than 118 kilometers per hour. And these types of wind speed speeds would bring great destruction and uh, destruction and cause a lot of damage to the areas that they hit. So you can imagine all the devastating ways of trees down, phone wires down, cables down, you know, and a lot, a lot of damage. So um, typically boys and girls, that is, you know, a very, very, very big storm, like storm units that's coming in tonight or tomorrow morning. But we don't know if it will reach that levels in intensity and strength of the wind. However, did you know, boys and girls, that the fastest wind speeds on Earth happen inside tornadoes and or they sometimes call them twisters. And these speeds inside a twister a tornado can re reach up to 400 kilometers per hour and you can imagine a formula one car reaching 230 miles an hour well it's nearly double that isn't it boys and girls in speed so it's very very strong strong speeds inside the tornadoes and twisters and we call little short bus bursts of wind which move at high speeds you know sometimes we're standing next thing the wind just blows us at a really quick gust gust these are called gusts and when it blows behind us and kind of frightens us, us or blows the umbrella inside out or off up into the air we know that these are called short bursts of wind which are called gusts and neptune in our solar system boys and girls has the fastest planetary winds in the solar system so huge speeds of winds up in neptune that have been uh, known to uh, exist so that's uh, a little bit about Francis Beaufort, our own Irishman, who created um, the Beaufort scale. And I want to know now, can you notice the odd one out here, boys and girls? You know, we have got, um, you can suggest now which one's the odd one out from the list. So we have a rain gauge, a barometer and temperature. So 
I have it already circled to tell you temperature, boys and girls, for helping you along. Merely describes weather. That only tells us what weather's like, you know, what how hot it is today. So the other two are um, weather instruments, a rain gauge that you gather raindrops in and a barometer that um, uh, measures um, the air pressure. And there we have two wind instruments or weather instruments. Then we have the Beaufort scale, um, anometer and a wind vane. And an anometer and a Beaufort scale, boys and girls, uh, both me measure wind speed. And the uh, wind vane is only measures wind direction. It just only points the cockerel on top, uh, points the arrow points in which direction the wind is coming from. So therefore, the wind vane is the odd one out there. Then we've got three words, snow, hail, wind. Well, we know snow and hail, they fall from the sky. So they're types of precipitation or um, kind of rainfall, as albeit uh, frozen rainfall. Um, so therefore they are types of precipitation, but wind is not. And then we have relief uh, rainfall, heavy rainfall and frontal rainfall. Well, relief rainfall and frontal hand rainfall describe how many, how rain may form, isn't that right? It may come from a front that's coming in off the sea um, or relief. Um, uh, so these are how rains may form, but then heavy rainfall just describes really the intensity, how heavy and how fast it's falling down out of the sky. So the heavy rainfall describes intensity. Then we have got different types of clouds, the cirrus clouds, the cirrocumulus clouds and the stratus clouds, boys and girls. And uh, basically we know there that um, cirrus and cirrocumulus are both types of high altitude clouds. You find them high up in the sky, both of these two. Um, uh, both of these two, sorry. Then uh, in number six, we have our tropical continental, our tropical maritime and our polar maritime. So the odd one out could be the tropical continental um, as the others describe, um, you know, as the other two for, form over the sea. But it also could be the polar maritime because this is a cold air mass that blows in from the Antarctica. So um, and from the polar regions of the Arctic Circle as well and Antarctica. So therefore they that is a cold air mass. Then we have a warm front, a cold front and a warm sector. The odd one out is warm sector because warm and cold fronts both bring cloud and rain. Both of these bring cloud and rain, warm fronts and cold fronts. Whereas a warm sector is just an area of warmer air, isn't it? Uh, so it's just the odd one out for that reason. So there's lots of learning even within those little things as well, boys and girls. Um, and I hope now you've enjoyed the little videos just about weather today and uh, looking out now and maybe recording how the temperatures and everything changes from as the day goes on from the morning that when you wake up to the evening when you go to bed and describe the different parts of the day, what it was like, what were temperatures like, was it windy, was it gusty, was it breezy, was it strong winds, was it gales, was it snowing, was it icy, was it foggy? Whatever it may be, was the sunshine appear at all? Did the sun appear? Ask yourself all those questions and be great, just uh, weather experts. Thank you.